Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Scuba. Let's get started this morning with our theme song this week. so much for being here parents if you've dropped off your kids we'll see you later have a great day you know boys and girls you can have a seat right where you're at I am so excited that you have come here to join us today at scuba can anybody tell me what scuba stands for well let's try this oh, oh that's better hi everybody welcome I need everybody to say scuba. scuba. Everybody say self, self. Contained, contained, underwater, underwater. Breathing, breathing apparatus. Scuba. scuba. Yeah, good job everybody. I am so glad that you're here, that you're really here in front of me that you're really here with your crews and your crew leaders and your assistant crew leaders and your crew directors here at SCUBA this week. Have any of you ever seen the ocean? I know that's a silly question because it's not very far away, right? But do you know that there are some boys and girls who have never seen the ocean before? What a wonderful treat that we have here, that we live in Florida, and we can experience God's wonder and his creation as we gather together, kind of like under the ocean this week, right? Can everybody do this? Can you look to the person to your left and to your right? Look around. Raise your hand if the person to the left and to the right of you is real. Are they real? Oh, that's a great thing. All right, now give everybody a high five who's next to you and say your name, introduce yourself. Say, hi, I'm Jeremy, high five. Hi, I'm Jeremy, high five. I'm Jeremy, I'm Jeremy. <laughs> wow, that's so great that you're real, that you are here, that you can, oh wait, can you do this? I know when you're really, really under the water, what do you have to do when you're really, really under the water? <gasps> okay, you have to hold your breath, right? All right, let's see how long we can hold our breath. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Everybody's still holding their breath. Everybody's still holding their breath. How many still holding your breath? Raise your hand. 
Oh, good. See, we're underwater, so you got to hold your breath all week. Are you going to be okay doing that? No? Okay. All right. All right. How, how, can, how about this? Hold your hands out like this, and I want you to breathe in, and then go. Can you breathe in? Can you feel that? Can you feel that breath? Our breath is real. The air is real. How many of you can see your breath? You know you can't see your breath. But you know what? You know it's real because you can feel it. Today we're talking about how God is real. And sometimes we can't see God right here in front of us, but we know he's real just like our breath. And we breathe. Everybody breathe with me. And blow. Just like we know our breath is real, even though we can't see it, we know that God is real even though we can't see him always right in front of us. You know what, boys and girls? I think it's time to sing another song. Let's stand up. We have some fun songs this week. So as we gather today, let's join in singing our next song, which is One True God. job everyone you know each day at scuba we're gonna meet a new bible buddy our bible buddies will help us learn the bible point for the day the bible buddies will help us learn the story for the day and the bible buddies will help us kind of learn and remember what's happening each and every day but i need your help on this first you see we're going to learn a little bit of a response every time we hear the special phrase of the day or the the uh, bible point of the day and so today we learning we're learning that god is a friend that's real and so whenever you hear the phrase god is a friend that's real you're going to go like this thanks god and you're going to do a big hand clap so that your hands end up in a prayer of thanksgiving to god so God is a friend that's real. Thanks. God. Yeah, yeah, you did the hand clap. You got to yell out, thanks God, too. Ready? God is a friend that's real. God. That's getting better. You'll have lots of time to practice that this week. Each and every time we hear the Bible point each day, you'll want to respond that way. 
So today, when you hear, God is a friend that's real, thanks, God. There you go. But let's hear today from our Bible buddy. Let's roll that video. Psst, you, over there. I'm Tad. Can you see me? Shh, don't tell anyone where I am. I'm playing hide and seek. In fact, hide and seek is my favorite game to play. <laughs> I play it all the time. See, I'm a frogfish. There are lots of different kinds of frogfish, but one thing we all have in common is that we're great hiders. That's because we use camouflage. Camouflage means we change colors to blend into our surroundings. Most animals that use camouflage do it to hide from animals that might eat them. <laughs> Not us frogfish! We hide to help us catch food! God gave us cool tools to help us blend in. We can make ourselves look like some of the places other fish might want to hang out or hide. Frogfish bodies are covered with spots, stripes, warts, and skin flaps that help us blend into our watery world. Take my cousin Stripe. He's a striped frogfish and uses his skin flaps and arms to look like algae. <laughs> he looks kind of funny. But when other animals hide in the algae, Stripe gets a snack. Can you find Stripe? Or there's my cousin Harry. He's covered in spines that look like, yep, you guessed it, hair. That's why he's called a hairy frogfish. His spines help him look like coral and seaweed. Between that and his changing color, nobody can see him. Can you spot Harry? Other times, we make ourselves look like sponges, even using our skin spots to imitate those little holes sponges have. Or, we might look like rocks. Hmm, can you find the frogfish? I'm not a grown-up yet, so I'm still white with orange patches. Younger frogfish like me aren't so good at changing color quite yet, but God still gives me a way to blend in, even though I'm little. Sea urchin shells are white, so that makes a sweet spot to blend in. Some of my frogfish family even turn colors to blend in with living sea urchins. Yep, God lets us be all kinds of colors. Red, orange, yellow, black, white, brown, pink, green, spotted, or striped. Whew, whatever we need to look like. Imagine if you could blend in when you play hide and seek. You'd win every time. How wide can you open your mouth? Go ahead and give it a try. That's nothing. God made me so I can open my mouth super wide. And I can do it in a split second. That lets me quickly grab a snack and swallow it whole. I don't even need to chew. Nope. Have you ever eaten so much that your belly feels full? That doesn't really happen to me because my stomach is so flexible. I can swallow food that's twice my size. Imagine eating a pizza twice as big as you! Whoa! When it's time for me to move, I don't really go that quickly. But I do it in a cool way. I suck in water, <sighs> then force out my gills to push me. It's almost like I have a jetpack. Woohoo! If you came to the Great Barrier Reef looking for a frogfish, you'd have a hard time finding one because we hide so well. You might even wonder if we're real. Well, I can promise you this, frogfish are real. You know, there's someone else you can't see, God. Sometimes you might feel sad or hurt or lonely, and you might wonder where God is. But even though you can't see him, God is just as real as, well, as I am. And he's right there with you. So no matter what's going on, just remember, God is a friend who's real. Thanks, God. Some of you remembered. That's good. So yeah, today as we get to learn about our Bibles, buddy, and our Bible points, we hear about Ted. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sydney. Um, yeah. Um, well, we're sort of in the middle of something. I, I think Sydney, your your microphone. Yeah, your microphone's on. We got Sydney's volume turned on. I don't know if it is or not. Is that working now? 
I don't know. Can you hear me, little dudes? Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, we, we are, I know, so everybody, this is my friend, Sydney Shores, old time friend. We, we know, we go way back, but are, are you okay? Is everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I just wanted you to be the first to know that I am now an undersea treasure hunter. And you are going to be my dive buddy. You're what? Wait, I'm what? You're going to be my dive buddy. Don't worry about it. It's going to be great. We're going to be diving in the water, searching for treasure. Um, you want me to help you find what exactly? Think about this. The Lost Ship of Pirate's Cove. Catchy title, huh? Okay. Yeah. Um... I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I, I'm, I'm with you here. Just listen, just listen. Long okay. time ago, Magnolia Mustache Mike, he was one of the no beard pirates' second cousin on his mom's side. He right. was sailing his ship home one day when a huge storm came in. The thunder was thundering. The sails were flapping, the waves were waving. <laughs> and the ship hit a coral reef and sank with an entire box of gold coins inside just waiting to be found. And we are going to find it. Are you sure the story is real? It's, of course it sounds it's made real. up. Come on, I've done all the research. I even know where I can get a map. I, and you want me to be with you on this adventure, your dive buddy? Of course! Everybody knows when you go diving, you got to have a dive buddy. Someone's got to check your oxygen tank. And look over your shoulder for sharks. I don't really like sharks. <laughs> um, and, of course, since I'm in charge, you know, it might be kind of nice to have somebody to bring me my fuzzy slippers and uh, tuck me in at bedtime. You ask a lot for a dive buddy. Yeah, but that's why I'm asking you. I mean, <laughs> you're already my buddy. You're a real friend, you know? I, I know I can count on you when the... Waters get dark and murky, and if we run out of snacks, you know? Well, that's what a friend would do, all right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm really the right person for the job. I don't know if I can be your dive buddy. You know, we, that's, it's a really tough thing to ask. We, but we have been talking today about a friend that is real, and... Right, right, boys and girls, we were just talking about that. We were talking about God as a friend that's real. Yeah, and God is a true friend who will always be by your side. Um, yeah, that sounds great, but um, where is he? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we actually have been just talking about that. You know, sometimes God isn't a friend that you can see or touch like you can the people right around you, but he is real. Whoa, mind blown. That's a lot to take in right now, and I'm kind of focused on this whole expedition thing. So um, maybe you can tell me a little bit more about your real friend God while we get prepared. You know, I'm always willing to talk about my real friend God. I'd love to, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be your dive buddy or not. Okay, we, we can talk about it a little bit tomorrow. Right now, I got a lot of work to do. I got to get things prepared so we can get on the waves, because soon we are going to be diving deep for treasure. Okay, Sydney. Well, good luck with all that. I know we'll talk more. Um, and thank you for stopping by. Okay, little dude. See you tomorrow. <laughs> all right. You know, boys and girls, I'm not sure about this dive buddy thing for Sydney, but I do know it's time to sing Count Your Blessings. Everybody up on your feet.
I hope that you have a wonderful time at Scuba today. We're going to do some rotating around. So right now, purple crews, you can head out the door to your purple areas. Green, once purple is out of the way, you can head out to games. Blue, you just stay where you're at. Red, you can head out the back and go all the way down to, to Imagination Station. And orange, you can follow red out the back once they've left.